So ni kona competition 3 pm because they were like ah this looks like a good opportunity like why not so everybody in fact i saw it because everybody was rushing the competition yeah so it was trending so everybody everybody was like eh, why are they misusing kenyan um artist designers you know um to just provide free designs for nothing then i was like what is there to lose you know i mean what's the worst part that can happen the design doesn't win what's the best part that can happen the design wins so yeah i was like team let's try this we are great believers here so we we said let the best man win um is it our team anyone else who design so i think after one month is when um one one of them saw the post on um, on facebook so they were so excited they were like oh uh, our design is in top 3 so i was like okay so what's the next step they were like um people need to vote i was like okay how do we get people to vote so send it to everyone your grandmother your mother <laughs> yeah my grandmother voted to <laughs> linkedin <on> facebook <laughs> so uh, we sent it to everyone that we knew so as many people as could vote let them vote So I think that contributed a lot in our design winning. We live in a in a society whereby we design things um because we have designed things before for clients. Uh they get the design and then they run away. So that is why I will think also Tasca got a lot of bashing when they first sent it out. Then the other thing it's a good opportunity. Um I am a believer in trying things out. You know, I mean not not all of us get things for, for free. Um so Once I see an opportunity and I see this is something that um we might win then why not try. So yeah, I mean for me is give the opportunity to as many people as possible because Tasca had the opportunity to give this one to their in-house designers they have. And um they would have designed something and they would have pushed maybe they designed but you see now it also gave a chance to small agencies people who are not known like um Alan and I I mean where would we have I mean where would we have been our design would it have been in Tokyo today if it wasn't for Tasca so it was a great opportunity I think as of now tunataka serikali tupatie bodyguards mimi na Alan sijui pa litatembea Anyway um our design being the representative of the Kenyan team in Olympic I think it's a good opportunity it, it's So um just a recap here yeah? when this design was first out and it was going round and we hadn't received that email we were like design yetu imeenda tu hivyo hakuna recognition una get but sasa nikaambia i think niliambia alan you know what wewe una join ndio umefanya hii design mimi na just sisi ndio tumefanya hii design i mean there is nothing that beats that us getting the recognition or the prize money that was coming after it it didn't matter our design is being represented in Tokyo so as kingeli we have been privileged i would say um we we go out and and do things out of you know we are here we have the machines we have the capabilities so why not do them despite of the money or not and that is one thing that has kept us pushing so we have had the privilege to work with um, medium and small sizes businesses up here dental sokinet um apom kenya you know they are small businesses in the industry that were running with digital platforms when covid hit so they kept us sustaining for the period but then when we were still running with this um i, I believe in a lot of networking and and treating the next person that you meet with uh, kindness and and honesty So we pushed to greater heights. We even got um one of them introduced us to um the ministry and we got to do the design for Amina WTO campaign when she was campaigning for the directorate which was another 2 minutes kind of design that like this one for Tasca yeah. Tulipe wale watu kama wanaenda kesho tunataka hiyo design because these are like aj connect na king miracles so <laughs> i think so so we are the miracle workers in this case